this is Candy from eyes to jesusblogspotcom bringing you my February planner tour, but also more extensive review of the classic size Franklin Cubby Vintage Aurora. I plan on doing a video maybe tomorrow or within the next day or two, we'll see, of the compact one as well. But I have moved out of my Giada and into this beauty. <clears throat> so this is the um, new Vintage Aurora by Franklin Covey in their classic size. So it takes half sheets of U.S. paper and it's amazing. In fact, before I give you my planner setup, I'm going to grab a few planners and show you some comparisons. So I'll be back in a jiff. All right, I just grabbed uh, some planners off the top of my head, uh, some that I thought would look good to compare it to, um, some that uh, I've had people request um, via groups and on YouTube and Facebook that they wanted to see some comparisons of. So, we have my classic size vintage Franklin Covey Aurora. This came with inch and a half gold rings. Really pretty. All right, so first comparison. <clears throat> this is a genuine leather uh, daytimer Malibu. In my opinion, still has the best smelling leather ever. It's still the most touchable and the most flexible of any planner I've had. So this still runs as one of my most favorite planner covers ever. Uh, biggest complaint is only one inch rings and daytimer rings are not removable. All right, uh, but let me line these up. Uh, footprint comparison. Yeah, they are pretty much about the same footprint. I mean, maybe within a quarter of an inch, half an inch, but uh, when I line them together, they look about the same. Um, pockets are comparable. Uh, if you like the pockets of the Daytime or Malibu, you're probably going to enjoy the pockets of the uh, Vintage Aurora because the pockets are very similar. So you can just about move what you got from the pockets in here and almost just duplicate it in this one. All right, but if you're looking for a Daytimer and you don't mind one inch rings, either the uh, portable size or their desk size, Malibu's amazing. Okay, next comparison. The Giada that I was in uh, for part of last month and uh, that my last um, planner tour was of. Uh, the Giada is very comparable. Uh, it's stiffer. All right, It's way more structured than the Vintage Aurora, quite a bit more. And of course, the closure and coloring is different. They both say, uh, when I look them up, that they have Italian leather. Uh, but I'll tell you what. The leather on this is way nicer than the leather on this. I mean, it's night and day, okay? Um, another thing, uh, the pockets. The pockets in the Giada, oops, I have personal information there. Okay, so the pockets on the Giada, exactly the same as the Vintage Aurora on the front. Almost the same on the back, except that on the back, the Vintage Aurora has two additional pockets down here. <clears throat> Giada came with inch and a half rings. The Vintage Aurora come, I mean, came with inch and a quarter rings. The Vintage Aurora comes with inch and a half. Footprint, the same. However, this one looks smaller than the Giada. I think because a visual, um, because of the way the slip tab is and this line here, it just gives it the illusion that it's thinner than the Giada, but uh, they, they seem to be the same footprint. All right, next comparison, the Franklin Covey Bella. Now, this also came with uh, inch and a half rings, the same inch and a half rings that this comes in. The uh, golden oval, more ovally shaped, they're flat on top, inch and a half rings. Uh, pockets <clears throat> are, again, the same, except there's only one pocket in the back here as to where there are more in the back in the uh, Vintage Aurora. And yeah, you might have noticed there's no rings in here right now. I took the rings out of this one. They are inside my Boston and the inch and a quarter rings from my Boston, I can't remember, were in here and I just moved them to something else a while ago and I don't remember which planner. I, I love Franklin Covey that I can interchange the rings. So, um, 
I'm one set of rings short, so that means I always have one planner that doesn't have rings. But when I want to move into my Bella, just grab rings from one of my other planners, stick them in there, and I'm ready to go. Now, footprint. <clears throat> While these two came with the same rings, we got quite a bit wider footprint with the Vintage Aurora than with the Bella. Very nice. Because with the Bella tabs stick out, uh, you're going to have to play around with the pen loops that are not bending your tabs. But if you enjoy the small footprint and you're willing to have your tabs sticking out, what a great footprint this is. I mean, look at that. What a comparison. Okay. Um, problem with the Bella, though, is the tab is not stretchy. Neither is it in the Vintage Aurora. We'll get into that in a bit. As you can see, it's just sewn on there. There's no pocket or anything in the back, and it's not stretchy. And in my opinion, the tab is too short. When I had the inch and a half rings in here, and I had them full, it would, it would close to about there. But once I added the pens and the pen loops, it would just see it about like that. And then I would always be afraid of it flinging open. And it just didn't look very cool to me when I couldn't close it more than that. So, uh, you know, I wish the Bella had a, a longer strap. And I think if there was a seam right here, the Bella would have an illusion of being even smaller, which would have been cute. Okay. Now, this is a non-vintage Franklin Covey Aurora. They sold a limited amount of these last year. I saw advertised red and black, but when I ordered a red, they were out, so I got the black. I don't know if that was a mistake or if they really did have the red and the black last year. Um, it's gorgeous contrast stitching. It is the same footprint as the Bella, so it's going to be a smaller footprint than the vintage Aurora. Okay. Um, it's got, like the Vintage Aurora, it's got the pocket on the back, which is nice. The strap is not very long. It's about, looks to me about the same size as the Bella strap, but it stretches. Woo! So that is A-OK. -okay. I like that. Hardware that came with this one is silver hardware, okay? And it came with inch and a quarter rings. So the tabs just barely peeked out like they do in the classic size Franklin Covey Ava, if you're familiar with that. Okay, so this is an amazing footprint. This is an amazing binder. Um, very structured. Very, very structured. Okay, so very structured like the Giada and the Bella. Very structured. You're not going to have any of the floppiness like you would with the Malibu. Uh, front pockets, the same as the Vintage Aurora, okay? Back pockets is different, okay? You have only one slit pocket here, and then you have a place to put a paper pad, just like the Bella. It's the exact same back pocket as the Bella, exact same front pockets as the Vintage Aurora. So this is the non-Vintage Aurora. Okay, now, I think the most comparable planner I have... To the Vintage Aurora is uh, this one, and I know it looks quite different on the outside. This is a Vintage Collages, okay? This, <clears throat> if I remember my timeline right, the Collages came out first, and then the original Vintage Auroras came out next, and then they did the non-Vintage Auroras, came out next, and now they got the new Vintage Auroras out now. Okay, so this really got the ball rolling. So we have a decorative buckle. We've got this design that goes all the way around. And this is kind of in the red burgundy color. All right. Um, and it's a snap closure. Inside, exact identical pockets, front and back, as the Aurora. Um, pen loops are not elasticized, but they're about the same size as the Aurora's, but you can fit bigger pens in the Vintage Aurora because they're elasticized on the back and leather on the front. These are leather all the way around. It came with inch and a half rings. <clears throat> the hardware is silver. And even the same back pockets as the Vintage Aurora. You got your pocket here, got your pocket here, you got your two smaller pockets here. Alright, so besides the look on the outside, and this is stretchy, like the non-vintage Aurora. Besides those two things and silver hardware, they're comparable. Uh, same footprint. Same footprint. 
However, this collage is very structured, but it's also got some padding and a little bit of give. So it's not as, not nearly as structured as the non-vintage Aurora, but uh, it's fairly structured. It's definitely a rigid structured planner, slight give and little bit of padding. It's got a little, I mean a little bit of squish to it. Now, the vintage Aurora, I need to tell you something great about it that I didn't know if it would have or not. It's not floppy, okay? It's not floppy like the Malibu, but it is not super structured like the original um, non-vintage, I should say, like the non-vintage Aurora or like the Giada, they're, they're fairly rigid. This has give. For example, look at that. See, I can make the corners touch and it's not a stretch, it just goes. So it's thick leather, I don't even know if there's any stiffener or, or cardboard or anything in there. It just seems to be double layered thick leather sewn together. All right, so this is trainable, okay? When I was first putting this close yesterday, um, <clears throat> this, uh, both sides, the above and below the strap, wanted to fan out so it's looking a bit like a butterfly. And then I was like, oh, it's trainable. Just squeeze them together like that for a little bit. No more butterfly effect. It lies flat. Okay, so... I love that. You can train the leather. I mean, on some of the super structured planners, they start bending in and getting a little wonky here where you close it, especially if it's really stuffed and then you get that, you know, fanning out like a butterfly. You don't have to have that here if you don't want it. You can train it to behave. And it's really easy to train. So I like that uh, while it is structured, it is bendable, flexible, and trainable. So it's like in between these, okay? All right, I have a few uh, personal size planners to compare it to. This one, uh, some of you noticed in yesterday's video when I was first showing you my uh, two vintage Aurora's and I just got them. This is not a Filofax Malden. Um, this is a dupe of one. I do have uh, some tours of it from uh, towards the end of last year. Uh, it's just like the Malden, except it's got bigger rings, uh, bigger pen loop, two pen loops, and the zipper area in front's a bit wider. Okay, but I do have a Malden as well. Hmm, Malden is nice. I still <laughs> like the Malibu leather feel and smell better, but the Malden is second place. And I do like the floppiness. Okay, so this is a Filofax Malden. All right, and the famous ochre color. So let's compare colors, all right? So you can see we have the more richer brown on the uh, Filofax Ochre on uh, this Cognac, is that how you pronounce it? It's an alcohol, right? Colored Vintage Aurora. Um, it's more orangey and it's a lighter brown. Um, <clears throat> it will patina. Um, my Malden has begun uh, patinaing. I don't know if you can see the spots, okay? Um, so you, you probably, when you get it, you might already have some darker spots and some discoloration. I have a little bit right there on the strap. Uh, that's going to continue. There's going to be more different spots and discolorations and stuff as it ages. And it's gorgeous. Okay, so that's what I really like about this color and this leather. And it's a nice vegetable dye that they put on this nice Italian leather. Is It's just going to patina amazingly. I think it's going to patina quite comparable to the Malden, maybe even better. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, right now the number one planner I recommend from uh, Franklin Covey is definitely the Vintage Aurora, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm liking it more than my Boston, okay? Um, yeah. And then uh, Daytimer, I am still recommending the Malibu. Wow, okay? So now a quick tour inside. It's not going to be a very detailed tour because I just gave a detailed tour in my Giada not too long ago, and before then I gave a very detailed tour in my Boston. All right. Oh, one more thing. I think I told you the strap is long. It's very easy to close. It causes me no problems at all. This is actually my easiest slip tab to close. Okay. And the pen loops, by the way, are smaller in diameter than the pen loops in the Giada, but they are elasticized like the Giada. And they fit my pens better. The Giada, I actually had all this 
floppy slack, for lack of a better way to describe it, uh, from my pens. But uh, it fits very nice. The pen loops. It's my Sharpie. There's my Ink Joy. Fits very nice. And again, they are elasticized. You can get Colettos in there, no problem. All right. <clears throat> so here's how I currently got this set up. You got a front pocket here, and because there is some give and flexibility, these pockets will open up considerably wider than they will in this one. This one, pockets don't open up too wide. It's kind of stiff. So you can get a lot more in the pockets. This is way more stuffable. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of stickers in the side pocket here. You can see some of my recollection stickers sticking out here. All right, in the zipper pocket, of course, that's where I like to keep my planner money. Ah, I still don't have any planner money, but I'm going to have some planner money soon. When I have planner money, it goes in there. Okay, and, uh, and the zipper pocket is gusseted. It opens up nice and wide. Now, we got several card slots. The top card slot, I have Avery labels, dots, hole reinforcement stickers. I covered up the rest of the card slots because I don't want to bulk it up and I don't want to feel like I have to put something in every slot. With um, a journaling card, it says this week has each day of the week and I just wrote down the main focus for each day. Got it held on there with a heart paper clip. And down here in the view window, it says a trim down project life card that is cute. Okay, and then this secretarial pocket is just some more stickers, and I keep them together with this cute uh, paper clip here. All right, front page lifter, I just got it decorated uh, with my word of the year. Um, the back here, I got this anonymized. This is uh, my contact information, my husband's contact information. Got my welcome page. The other side of my welcome page, got my dashboard. The other side of my dashboard, got my grocery list with extra paper to write down more. First divider, homemaking. All right, I got my guide the house scriptures. I don't, eh, I don't know that you'd be able to get that in focus enough to pause and read it. Uh, but anyways, I told, I tell you what all the scriptures are if you want to look them up for yourself uh, in my uh, Giada planner tour. Okay, and then inside there, I've got my master schedule for my children and I. Um, I got the poem, Do the Next Thing, I printed up the internet, got my daily chores, got my children's chores, my children's table chores, I got my deep cleaning and organizational projects, I've got my master grocery list, I got the menu of what I'm cooking for the week, and then after that I got my breakfast and lunch meal ideas supper meal ideas, fruit and vegetable sides meal ideas, then we get into my recipes. And then after all my recipes, get to homeschool. Same stuff in homeschool. I need to reprint this out and get my curriculum chart bigger. I got it too small. Uh, I also need to reprint out the homeschool schedule. I got it too small. All right, and then I got what we're currently working on. Got a uh, current copywork assignments, current reading list, and paper for writing in any notes. We got budget, and I just have this paper clipped here to make sure I don't accidentally show you anything. Uh, I got a, my homemade top-loading pocket in there where I put bills that are waiting to be paid. I got my budget guide showing me what our regular expenses are for which paycheck. And then I've been doing my budgeting lately on this chart bow bunny paper. All right, next one, notes. And I got my, my notes pages are numbered. Here's my table of contents of my notes. And then we got plans. So we got the year at a glance. And I got this paper clipped um, because I don't want to show you my completed January uh, month at a view because it's got a lot of personal stuff and appointments. And then uh, February, which we are now in the beginning of, I got this paper clipped so I don't show you my February month at a view because I already have several appointments and such on that. Um, this is today. I got the Bloom's Day on two pages, my Franklin Covey page finder, my laminated master to-do list, which the holes are slit so they move from day to day with my page finder, my notes page, and there we go. This is what a blank Bloom's Day on two pages look like. So it's super, super gorgeous. All right, and I just have, I have all 12 months in here for the, um, 
month at a glance uh, for the month and two pages, but I only keep uh, the day and two pages for one month at a time. So when January ended, I took the January day and two pages out, put them in the storage, and then I put the February day and two pages in. But the January month and two pages stays in case I need to reference it, and all the other month and two pages stay. Okay, and I also got them for future planning, and I do use them for future planning. All right, so turning past all those, I got a page which has my 2018 future planning anonymized because I got some stuff there already. I got a trimmed down happy planner uh, double sided pocket here that I put some things in. I got a day timer a zipper pocket. I like the day timer better than the Franklin Covey because I don't like the zip lock open it up like a baggy system. I like having a little zipping mechanism. And then I got a Franklin Covey page lifter on the back. Okay, back pockets. I'm using up a, a day timer notepad that I have. So there is no top slit. So it's actually sitting in this top pocket here. Then the next pocket here, I just have some papers. And then these two pockets down here, I got some tabs and arrow flags. So there is a quick tour of uh, how I'm currently using my beautiful um, classic size Franklin Covey Aurora. Um, the smell, I've, I've, I got this yesterday morning right now, it's the afternoon of the next day. The smell has dissipated considerably. Okay, just needed to air out. Um, it's uh, still a little bit strong when I put it up to my nose and smell it, but other than that, it's fine. And it's starting to smell good. So as the strongness wears off, more of the natural leather smell is going to come through. And it's, it's starting to get that really nice leather smell. So if you're concerned about the smell, don't be. It dissipates fast. And uh, it seems to be getting replaced with just a nice, nice leather smell. Um, back pocket, before I forget, there's nothing in here. Uh, this is just for on the go. Sticking in receipts when I'm on the go. Someone hands me a business card or a note or an appointment card or whatever. Uh, if I'm grabbing mail but I can't stop by the house to drop it off, stick it in there. So I love having that option. Uh, so yes, I wholeheartedly recommend that you hurry up and get yourself one of these before they sell out. Now I hear that in the fall they're going to come out with these in different colors. Um, this is the color I want, so I'm already set. But if you don't like this color, you could take your gamble and wait until the fall, unless it never happens, and then I guess you're out of luck. So uh, highly recommend it in the compact or this beautiful classic size. I will put up a compact video for you compact planner lovers soon. Well, have a blessed day, and don't forget to uh, make plans.